wanted to keep bees, right? Like me? Well, there's some things you need to consider first. Bees are livestock, and not just some hobby. Like any livestock, they need their shelter. They need a hive. Uh, a chicken needs its coop. They need food and water. Uh, when you get your bees, you need to feed them. You need to feed them a sugar syrup. You need to get them pollen substitute, not just when you first get them, but any time they need it. Uh, you can't rely on natural forage 100% of the time. You can keep cows and let them graze on your grass, but in times of drought and when there is no grass to be grazed upon, you need to feed them. You need a source of water. Any animal needs water to survive. If you live in a drier area where the bees are finding it hard to get water, you should supply them with some way to get it. Sometimes you need that source of water to keep them away from your neighbor's pool, um, which they do tend to like better than anything you put out there for them. But it's something to consider. Like any other animal that is kept, you need to be monitored for disease and treated when that disease is presented. Uh, you can't just rely nowadays with things like Varroa mites uh, and uh, American fowl brood, European fowl brood, and you know, SEMA. There are tons of diseases. You need to be in your hives monitoring them. You can't just leave them alone. They need that attention. You need to be manipulating the hive. There are some natural beekeepers that that won't, but uh, it's a good practice because a bee wants to make its hive in a egg shape, basically inside that tree. And if you want them to make use of the square box that they're in, you need to move those frames around. You need to be in there making sure that your bees are the best they can be. It's not a set it and forget it hobby. Uh, just like any pet, you don't come home with a brand new puppy or a calf and put it in its pen and leave it. Uh, that would be considered neglect with, uh, with those animals. It would be considered in my book neglect talking about your bees. So, just things to consider when you want to keep your bees. Hope you do. But be ready for the responsibility. Thanks for watching. I hope I don't discourage anybody from getting into the beekeeping scene. Uh, it's just a sad thing when you hear these new beekeepers pick up their packages and the next day uh, they say, oh, you know, I'm going on vacation for two weeks and the bees are left unattended. Or, you know, sometimes people just get in way over their heads. Uh, they don't realize that it requires so much attention. Um, but what I recommend is uh, find a bee club in your area, find a beekeeper in your area, um, and at the very least, read a book before you get into it. Recommend the Beekeepers for Dummies books. Um, great resources still go to uh, look through it every now and then just do your research before uh, getting into it uh, watch some videos anything so you can uh, see what it's like uh, before uh, you take home that package all in all beekeeping is a fun and rewarding hobby uh, and it can quickly become more than that. If you do decide uh, after looking into it that beekeeping isn't your thing, you don't have the time, uh, don't completely give up. You can still support a local beekeeper. Uh, you can support your clubs. Um, 
and you can make some friends, maybe join in on somebody's inspections every now and then when you have the time. So just because you can't take care of a beehive yourself, you know, it doesn't mean you can't be a part of the beekeeping community. Good luck if you decide to stick with it and uh, have a safe, happy and uh, healthy new year.